Hi everyone! It is Sunday the 28th of January. Uh, it's uh, nearly 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just sitting in my office chilling out and relaxing and just reflecting over not just the last two days but also the last week or so and I'm sure in the next few days as we come into New Year's and 2015 I'm going to start thinking more and more about what have I accomplished over the last year what have I challenged myself with what have I been challenged by what have I risen above what have I learnt about myself what strengths have I remembered or discovered about who I am and just thinking about how far I've come in the last year not focusing on the negative of what went wrong what a challenging year it was you know the people we lost and unfortunately there's been a few this year but trying to focus more on what has the year meant to me what has this year represented and given me that I can move into 2015 stronger wiser more aware more compassionate more kind more giving um, and more loving towards myself as well as to the people around me what has this year given to me and I think that's really important to do we often get so caught up in moving into New Year's focusing on next year and focusing on the same goals that we may have you know had the best of intentions for last year but only managed to stick with for a few weeks so instead of doing that I think it's a really good idea to actually reflect on what the year has meant to you and get those strengths very clear in your mind as to what can help you to move forward next year what what new tools in your in your tool belt will you have do you have because of the experiences that you had this year that can inform you and empower you for next year i i'm i just really don't like setting New Year's goals simply because it's New Year's. I think that's really silly because if you're not ready for change, no matter if it's New Year's or not, you're not going to. So before you can get to the point where you want to make change, you have to be more uncomfortable in your daily habits of the very things that are causing you to feel discomfort or dis-ease within your mind or body. And finally get to a point where you know something has to change and you know you need to change and that should be regardless of whatever time of year it is so to help you move forward it's a really great idea to gather up your self-awareness and your self-knowledge and your skills and strengths that you already possess and to remind yourself what you are capable of what you've already been through what you've learned from those experiences so that you can help remember that you are so much more capable than you sometimes think you are so that you can move forward armed with that knowledge about yourself and be able to make change there's so many different ways to make change but to be able to effectively make change you've got to want it number one and number two you've got to really be honest with yourself about why you want the change what are you going to get out of it and also be honest with yourself about what are you getting out of staying the way you are what have you been fulfilling by staying stuck by by holding on to excess weight by staying in bad relationships by not nourishing yourself or not exercising as, as you wish to what is it that you're getting out of not doing those things not creating change because that's sometimes the answer to what your blockage is or what is holding you back what's keeping you stuck once you figure out what it is that you are fulfilling what need it is that you've been fulfilling by staying in bad habits then you can try and look for healthy alternatives of ways to fulfill those needs that are truly going to nourish you in a healthy way instead of the way that you've been relying upon that may have been a habit that was developed over many many years and then you can start focusing on moving forward in a healthful way to be able to create the change that you're looking for I've been posting on Facebook recently quite a few different steps to change and how to create change so to be very clear on what you want to be very clear on what you don't want so that you can then start planning where am I now where would I like to be and 
what do I need to start focusing on one thing at a time to gradually substitute, change, swap or include or release and let go of so that I can move forward towards that change that I'm trying to make. So keep an eye out for those tips on Facebook so that you can help yourself to actually sit down and really think about what change that you want to have. But the thing to do before that, which was what I started with in this little video, is to remember what do you have to help you move forward. So looking back over this year, thinking about what you're grateful for, what has happened, the challenges that have arisen, what you have discovered about yourself as you have risen to the challenges and overcome them. Or even if you're still struggling through those challenges, what are they teaching you? You know, wherever there's discomfort, there is something to learn about from ourselves and from the situation because that self-knowledge is going to help us to move forward and to be able to fully take responsibility for ourselves in knowing what it is that we need to work on the most. And often the things we need to work on the most are the most uncomfortable things. So I hope that in the next few days before New Year's comes that you can start to think about what has 2014 meant to you? Instead of just focusing on the goals for 2015, reflect on 2014, reflect on the year that is still here and what it has meant to you, what it has shown you, what it has delivered to you, what it has brought to you, what it has challenged you with. And use that knowledge, those strengths, that gratitude, that self-awareness to help inform you towards the kind of 2015 that you would like to aspire to. And above all, be kind to yourself while you're learning how to make these positive changes. And if you have a back step one day, that's okay. Learn from it. Ask yourself, how can I learn from this? What do I need to do next time if this arises so that I can move through this discomfort of this change a little bit more comfortably? And good luck. Um, that's all. That's all for now. Take care. Look after yourself. And... I look forward to more videos.